I already looked at the Fibonacci sequence, and we worked out the Fibonacci sequence we get by adding the two previous terms in the sequence to get the next one. So the first two terms are 1 and 1. So the third term, to get that, we add 1 and 1 together to make 2. We add 2 and 1 together to make 3 to get the next term. To get the term after that, we add 3 and 2 to make 5. Then we add 5 and 3 to make 8. We add 8 and 5 to make 13. And we can keep going and the numbers will get bigger and bigger, faster and faster. Okay. What I never liked about the Fibonacci sequence when I was at school was I never really understood what the point of it was. I could work out how to get the next term, but I didn't know what it was for, it just seemed a bit silly to me. So that's what I'm going to try to explain in this video, where the Fibonacci sequence comes from, what Fibonacci was trying to do when he came up with this sequence. What he was trying to do was he was trying to work out how the population, how a rabbit population would change over time. Okay, so what he Fibonacci did was he said in the first month, I have just uh, just have one pair of baby rabbits, and I'm just going to do a circle that's not coloured in, so that is going to show um, a pair of baby rabbits. So I'll just do a keyver so it's really clear what my diagram is showing. So that's one pair of baby rabbits, and then Fibonacci said that each month. It would take well. It would take one month for a pair of baby rabbits to become a pair of adult rabbits. So after in the second month, once one month has passed, this pair of baby rabbits will now be a pair of adult rabbits. So we'd have one pair of adult rabbits, and I'm going to do a coloured circle to show a pair of adult rabbits. Okay, so I can make a distinction between baby rabbits and adult rabbits on my key. And Fibonacci said, so it takes one month for a pair of baby rabbits to become adult rabbits. And he also said, every pair of adult rabbits each month would have one pair of baby rabbits. Okay, and that's how the population would grow. So in the third month, we'd have this pair of adult rabbits here still going. So they'd still be there in the third month. But because they were adult rabbits in the second month, they'd also have had a pair of baby rabbits as well. So we'd have two pairs of rabbits in the third month. And in the fourth month, we'd have still this pair of adult rabbits here, our original pair, but they'd have had, because another month's passed, they'd have had another pair of baby rabbits. And then this pair of baby rabbits that we had in the third month would now be adults. So if we would draw them on, those on, we'd have a coloured circle. Okay. And then in the fifth month, this pair of adult rabbits would still be going. They'd have had another pair of baby rabbits because another month's passed, so we can draw that pair on. And then this pair of baby rabbits would now be adults. And this pair of rabbits, because they were already adults, would still be there, but they would have had a pair of baby rabbits instead. Now if we look at how many pairs of rabbits we've got each month, in the first month we had one, in the second month we still had one, in the third month we had two, in the fourth month we had three, and in the fifth month we had five altogether. And we start to see that it looks like we're getting the Fibonacci sequence for the num total num pairs of rabbits that we get after each month. So if we were to work out the pairs of rabbits that we'd have after six months, we think that should be eight because that's the next number in the Fibonacci sequence. So if we work it out, we can see whether we will get eight or not. So we still get this first pair of rabbits, they're still going, and another month's passed, so they've had another pair of baby rabbits. This pair of baby rabbits here will now be adults because another month's passed. This pair of rabbits were already adults, so they'll still be there. And they'll have had a pair of baby rabbits as well. And this pair of rabbits will be the same, they'll still be there. And they'll have had a pair of baby rabbits as well. And this pair of rabbits at the end were babies at the end of the fifth month, so they'll be adults, but they won't have had 
any baby rabbits themselves. Let's have a look how many we've got all together. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we do get eight pairs of rabbits. And we could carry that on and we'd see that it does work, okay? There's a few problems with that. It didn't really work to model the population of um, rabbits and how the population changes. Um, and there's a few reasons for that. But I'll let you think about that for yourself and see if you can come up with any reasons why that wouldn't be a good model for how the population of rabbits would change over time.